Well, good evening, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. How y'all doing this <laughs> evening? Hey, like the more mature people in my family used to say to me, what you know good? <laughs> Amen. What y'all know good? Amen. How has your prayer life been lately? Mm. See, we are praying that when we come before you with this information, that you take a hold and grab a hold yes, of it, Pastor, yes. and go live it or go try it out or just see if we're wrong. Mm. Just test us out sometime and see if the things we say are wrong. Mm. And I guarantee you, your prayer life will be stronger. Hallelujah. Hey, welcome, welcome to Inspired Life Ministries. I'm one of your hosts, Pastor Kofi. Brian Singer, and this is my lovely wife Thank and you, my bride. You're welcome. Pastor Lachelle Bryan, and we together again are Inspired Life Ministries, where we hope and pray that every time we before you, we are inspiring you to live out God's plan yes. for your life and to do what, Pastor? Complete every assignment that, that he, he gives, gives you. you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and tonight we have the assignment to pick up where we left off. Amen. Amen. And we were giving you prayers, warfare prayers last Bible study. Yeah. And you have joined us again at our Bible study and we where we do what, Pastor? Study, study the, the Bible. Bible. Amen. And so you have joined us for another version of our Bible study. And in this particular episode, we're going to continue in giving you warfare prayers. That's right. Now, these prayers are just examples. They're not necessarily um, templates that you must follow. That's right. They're templates that you can follow, especially if you don't have templates of your own that deal with prayer. Amen? Amen. And so we've dealt with so many um, topics and we left off yeah. with dealing with covering family and your friends and yourself. Yes. Oh, yes. And so tonight we're going to pick up where we left off from, where were we, Pastor? Um, we dealt with the prayers of protection for ourselves, prayers of protection for our family, and prayers of protection for our friends. Amen. Amen. And what scripture references are we going from this evening? So, because we have so many different um, scripture references it's a Bible study. that we can use, we're not going to, um, we're going to share the scriptures with you and ask that you would write them down and go home and study them because we're covering different things like prayer for marriage, prayer for your children, yeah. things like that, right? Amen. And so, where we left off last week, again, was prayers of protection. And so, here it is, Paul asked his churches to pray. For his stamina and boldness in ministry. Yeah. How many know in order to be in the army of the Lord that you have to have boldness? Hmm. And you definitely need staying power yes, you and do. boldness in ministry. So I want us to look at Ephesians chapter 6 as an example, verses 19 and 20. And it reads in this manner. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 19, 19 and 20, 20, New Testament. Amen. It says, and for me... That utterance may be given to me that I may open my mouth boldly mm. to make known the mystery of the gospel. My. Verse 20, mm -hmm. for which I'm an ambassador in chains that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. One of the things that I really appreciate and admire about the apostle Paul, even though he persecuted Christians, um, isn't it amazing how we can always remember a person's past and we talk about that more than we talk about the victories and how God used these people. Yes. Um, even in, in just everyday living, people will remind you of your past. But I'm telling you, if you share your past with them, you don't have to be um, in bondage to it because because right. you can tell the truth about yourself. But what I want to say about Paul is that Paul was in prison still, right? When he was writing to the um, church of Ephesians, he he was in prison, but he was asking those at the Ephesians church, right, to pray that he would have what? Stamina and boldness in ministry. And how many of us, when mm. we get into a, a situation or a trial comes our way or a circumstance comes our way, whether it be in our health, whether it be in our wealth, amen, whether it be um, that we lost a job or mm -hmm. we um, foreclosed on a home or maybe a car got repossessed, whatever the, the infraction is yeah. that we're going through, that a lot of times we'll do just like this. But when we learn 
to take the word of God that is deeply already rooted inside of you and I and apply it to our situation. It doesn't mean that you won't have concern about what you're going through, but you don't have to ball up in a fetal position no, you and act like your God doesn't know what you're going mm, through. Mm, mm, mm. But you can aware. you can stand boldly yes. and you can open up your mouth boldly and speak the word of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So Amen. that's just one um, scripture verse. Another one you can look at is Colossians chapter 4 verses 2 through 4. Uh -huh. Amen. And that deals with us um, praying against spiritual attacks, That's right? That's right. And so when we look at Daniel, here it is Daniel and his friends, because remember we're talking about pr praying prayers of protection over ourselves, yes. over our families, uh -huh. over our friends. So Daniel and his friends prayed for God to reveal Nebuchadnezzar's dream to Daniel so they wouldn't be killed. Mm -hmm. So if you would go with us or at least write this down, Daniel chapter 2, verses 16 through 19. Verse 16 reads, At this, Daniel went into the king and asked for time so that he might interpret the dream for him. Hmm. Verse 17, Then Daniel returned to his house and explained the matter to his friends, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Yeah. He urged them to plead for mercy from the God of heaven Hallelujah. concerning the mystery mm. so that he and his friends might not be executed with Jesus. the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Yeah. During this night, the mystery was revealed to David in a vision. Then da Daniel, I'm sorry, That's in okay. a vision. Then Daniel praised God of heaven. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So this is what I want to say about Daniel. Daniel had some what? Some praying friends. Yes. Amen. Yes. Who out there got some praying friends? Amen. And who do you need to surround yourself around? Yeah, you got it. Some praying friends. That's right. You need some prayer warriors. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. You don't need people around you that's going to quote what the doctor said to you. Mm. You don't need people around you that's just there to remind you of what your current situation is. My Lord. You yourself woke up this morning. You know what your situation is and what it looks like in the flesh. You don't know. You don't need anyone around you just saying what they see. Yeah, that's right. You need good. somebody around you that's going to see what God sees about your situation. Yes, hallelujah. Someone that's going to tell you what God said about your situation not what your situation says about your situation that's right because mm -hmm. we do what we walk by faith and, and not, not by, by sight. sight and so whatever kinds of protective prayers you say make your request in bold faith yes amen that god is going before you and he's beside you in whatever you face if nothing else stand on hebrews 13 5 hmm. his word says that i will never leave you nor oh, will forsake i forsake you, you. and yes. so what god is saying that he's not going to leave you emotionally and he's not going to leave you physically. Mm -hmm. How many of us have lost some friends um, along the way? Yes, Amen. And it yes. may not been because there was an argument, but just you know, sometimes people will say and they might really have good intentions. Oh, when you start that business, I'm going to be right there with you. I got your back. And when you do this, I'm going to be right there with you. When you start that business, when you start that ministry, when you write that book, I'm going to be right there with you supporting you. Listen, don't be upset because the people made some promises and they broke them. Forgive and love them anyhow. Anyhow. Amen. Pray for them anyhow. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because anyhow. a lot of times people have the right intent, but not always for whatever reason are able to keep their word. But we have to learn to keep our word. Amen. Absolutely. Because we did what on Sunday? We talked about the belt of truth. Amen. We sure did. So now we want to talk about a prayer for courage. Mm -hmm. Psalms 56 verse 3 says, when I am afraid, I will trust in you. Amen. Mm -hmm. When I'm afraid, I will trust in you. Psalms 56 3. So here's a template. Lord. A prayer. Thank you, Pastor. I'm afraid of the things surrounding me and my family. Hmm. I'm afraid of the past, the present, and the future. Hmm. I know that you have the power to subdue and eradicate my anxiety and fear. And I ask you to take it away and shield me from believing in its power. Help me to trust your goodness and live courageously mm. because I know that you can and that you will protect me and my family from the things that frighten me. You love me and you only do good to me. Father, remind, help me to be reminded that your word says that you've not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And I choose to stand on your word on today, mm. oh God. 
in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So Amen. just what? Amen. Attempted for a prayer of courage. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Mm, mm, Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Almighty God. My you are my. so worthy, Lord. Yes, he Hallelujah, is. Lord God. Hallelujah. Worthy. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, O oh God, that you inhabit the praises of your people. Thank you, Amen. Almighty God. Thank Amen. you, Lord God. God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for the one, Lord God, who has such a, a prayer life and commune with you throughout the day, Lord God. And yes, God. for whatever has happened, Lord God, they have become stagnated, Lord God. And feel like that you don't hear their prayers but lord god i lift that person up to you right now oh god wherever and whoever that person may be oh god and just remind them in a gentle way lord god that your love is unconditional lord god and that you still hear them lord god and that you want them to resume being in prayer with you lord god hallelujah lord god i just yes. thank you lord god for that person's soul i thank you lord god thank for you, their lord. life they really know and, and believe that 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 life has not been as good for them as they expected lord god but give them lord god a heart lord god to yes, continue god. to serve you lord god yes, hallelujah god. thank you jesus thank you, thank you jesus. lord god thank, thank you, you lord jesus. thank you lord thank you jesus thank you almighty god thank you lord god Amen. thank you jesus thank you thank you thank you thank you lord god Amen. and for those who have decided to turn away from their faith lord god mm -hmm. i just thank you right now that you're returning them back to you, Lord God. All yes, of your God. sons and daughters, Lord God. Even those, Lord God, who have had addictions, Lord God, with mm. medications, Lord God, and addictions, Lord God, with illegal substance abuse, oh God. Mm. I thank you, Lord God, that you still call them son. You still call them daughter, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. So whoever this is for, Lord God, I just pray, Lord God, that they will repent, Lord God, and get mm. back in line with you right now, oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of yeah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. You're still El Shaddai. You're still all sovereign. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you lord god glory. you're still jehovah jireh our provider thank yes, you lord god, god. hallelujah thank hallelujah you, Jesus. hallelujah how magnificent is your name oh god yes, hallelujah god. and we just give you all the praise and we uh, give you the yes. honor oh god hallelujah yes, god. we thank you for the holy spirit glory. that your son jesus christ left as a comforter to lead god and direct us yes, in all lord. truth oh god hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah thank, thank you, you lord jesus. god thank you for the visitation of your holy spirit thank you jesus Amen. you're worthy thank you jesus Amen. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Lord God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, hmm. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The Lord says that He inhabits the praises of His, His people. people, and sometimes we're hitting and missing in our prayer life. Hallelujah! But mm -hmm. God says that I've called you to be an intercessor. I've called Amen. you to intercede on behalf of others. Hallelujah. I've called you to pray for lost souls. I've called you to pray for those who who are experiencing anxiety. I've called you, daughter. I've called mm -hmm. you, son, to pray. Hallelujah! Mm -hmm. You thought that I forgot forgotten about you but i've not forgotten about mm -hmm. you hey thank you mm -hmm. jesus thank you lord god thank hallelujah. you hallelujah thank you almighty god thank you almighty god thank hallelujah. you thank you thank you thank you so thank you see thank you jesus we're in the midst thank of you, teaching lord. you prayer thank you lord and warfare prayer thank you jesus and right then and there thank you, lord. the holy spirit took control of our thank you jesus. ministry Thank you. And he specifically stopped and arrested our attention Thank for you, us Lord. to pray for you, Thank you tonight. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Think about that. Thank you, Lord. That Thank prayer you, Lord. was specifically for a few people, Pastor. Thank you, Jesus. God arrested your Holy you, Spirit. God's Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Arrested our attention and caused us Thank to direct a specific prayer you. to you tonight. Thank you. See, that's an example of warfare. Thank you, Lord. We're in the fight with you. Thank you are you, not alone. Thank you. Lord. And when you have your moment like that, where you're Thank thinking you, about one thing or on one course of action and Thank the Holy you, Spirit Lord. comes and visit it, visits you, do not grieve the Holy Spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to take control of that moment because he knows what's needed. Thank you, God. Just like he knew that someone needed our prayer just now. Thank someone you, needed the prayer that came forward. Thank Amen. You, yes, he did. Thank God you, knew it. God knows it. Thank and you, God Lord. appreciates your obedience when you operate, when he takes his spirit and gets a hold of you and you operate in his spirit, he appreciates that as well. Well, listen, that's all the time we have for tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Our time is up. We thank you for yours. We pray that this particular Bible study has taught you one thing. Thank you, Lord. Pray without ceasing. Hallelujah. That means keep doing it and never stop. Thank you, Lord. Never stop. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, please reach out to him now. 
and ask him to come in yes. and he's Thank right you, there Jesus. waiting on you. He set this whole situation up so that you can be heard or so that you can hear from him through us. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so right now, now that you've heard the word of the Lord, respond, give your life to him. Pray harder. Have faith. Be strengthened in your faith. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, ILM loves you. you but more importantly, God, God loves, loves you. you. Peace. Blessings. Be encouraged. Thank you so much. God bless you all.